<laughs> amazing, amazing. And, you know, it's, we're celebrating Connecticut agriculture. Hey, Brian Holbert, the uh, commissioner for the Department of Agriculture. Did I get that right? You did, yes. That is amazing. I have a question to ask you. Can you core a apple? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, it was delayed, but it's there. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. All right, so if you watched Great Day 9A earlier today, we spun the wheel, and uh, I'll ask you at home, and then we can guess, can you name three kinds of Connecticut apples, apples that are grown here? And so, I got them all right without even knowing it. Right? So I, I said Portland uh, and McCowan, and then you said Empire. Empire. So those are all right. Those are all right. We've okay. got all sorts of great apples across the state. And we encourage you to stop by the booth, learn more about Connecticut Apple Orchards and where you can go. Right now, apple picking time. I mean, it's a great way to spend yeah. a couple hours with the family on a weekend. Right, agriculture to Connecticut is just so important. Can Very you expand important. on that a little bit? Yeah, so a lot of people think about the local orchard they go to or the pumpkin patch they go to. Right. Us at the department, we think about agriculture as an industry. Right. So we've got 5,000 farms in Connecticut that work 370,000 acres of land. Oh, my God. And we say from the ground to the sound because we've got oysters as well, uh, right, yeah. in Long Island Sound. Sure. Um, and that generates $4 billion to the state's economy. Wow. Employs 22,000 people. So when you're visiting that local farm stand or farmer's market, you're actually contributing to a huge economic driver. That's what? incredible. Some of the other products you brought this are... This is a, an award-winning wine, Best Connecticut Wine from Jones Oh, this Jones is Jones's. Jones's Family Winery down in Shelton. Great family. This is where I get my Christmas tree. Yeah, That's, Blueberry Bliss. It's and blueberry you can wine. get your wine while you're down there, too. That is wonderful. I didn't realize blueberries, that. Blueberries, strawberries, your wine, your Christmas tree. They do a great job. Arathusa. Arathusa. They do an amazing job buying from local Connecticut dairy operations to produce some award-winning ice creams, cheeses, uh, milk products. I have a bone to pick with you. It's a <laughs> Let's talk to the prop people. Who here. ate this, Brian? To I want to know. I mean, it's it's ten, it's almost eleven. It was fine. <laughs> and then all the local honeys, which by the way are medicinal, when we have a little bit of local honey every day, yeah. can help with our allergies. So some people say, well, what do I do with honey? Right. Well, you can put it in your coffee as I put opposed it in to oatmeal. sugar. You could put it in your oatmeal or I your put yogurt. It on Greek yogurt. You could put it on your Greek yogurt. There's a lot of different ways to use honey. And if Scott, if you could tip the jar open so people can see that homegrown by heroes label. We work with the Connecticut Farmer Veteran Coalition, which is a group of farmers who have served in the military oh, that's in Connecticut. We promote their product. They're here today, uh, first time at the Big E, to talk to people about their service um, in the in the armed services, but also as local farmers. Yeah. In and fact, you we, we got to talk to them a little bit later, but the, 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 it's a great transition. A lot of them are coming home from serving, coming and, home from serving. and they're going into farming. Well, and they have a skill set that a lot of people don't have, right? They're doers. They get right. stuff done. Agriculture is a hard work, right? So they can apply that skill set, be independent business owners and operators, and put great products out to the community. You're the man. Yeah, there we go. Thank, thank you, thank you so both.